so I have already used the Urban Decay Greed Primer Potion. Uh, this is like a goldy, greeny tinged primer. You can kind of see it just about. It's a little bit more kind of cool toned than Sin. Um, this is not, this primer is not what I used when I did this look um, a couple of days ago, so I don't really know why I decided to do that now. Let's hope I haven't ruined it. Anyway, I do things like that. I'm like, hey, I'm going to recreate a look, but I'm going to use this, and it's totally different to what I used before. No, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, okay, so first of all, I'm going to take the Naked 2 Basics palette. I really like this. I've kind of been cracking this out again, and it's actually really nice. And I liked it when I first got it, but I think it's like anything. Um, you kind of have to come back around to it again, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take my trusty 228 Zomiva Crease Brush which looks like this, and it is the best crease brush in the world. In the world, it is, no exaggeration. So I'm gonna take Frisk, which is the gray color, which I really, really like. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that to begin with on my Zoeva 228, and just pop this into the crease and kind of just above. like so. Now I'm going to put the Naked 2 Basics aside for a second and I'm going to take the Steela in the Garden palette which I don't use too often and I really don't know why because it's beautiful. Um, so I just I love this palette, it's gorgeous and the colour I'm going to take is Honey which is this honey colour right here which is just beautiful. So I said I did this look the other day just randomly um, I'm just sitting there looking at my makeup thinking, oh, I want to do something a little bit different. But it's really easy, this look, so that's why I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. But I actually got so many compliments on it, so I thought, while I was out, you know, so I thought I would recreate it for you. So this is the Zoeva Shader Brush. I love this brush. I love all their brushes. I actually have a video review coming out very soon. I haven't filmed it yet, but hey, of their eight new brushes, which are phenomenal. It's so funny because I haven't even used them. Because I don't want to dirty them. This is the thing, this is the difference with being a YouTuber and a blogger, you see, because bloggers can like take lovely pictures and keep them in abeyance and use the products as well and they still look nice. With, with YouTube videos, it's like, I don't know what to do. Do I show you dirty brushes? Do I use them and then wash them and then they still won't look as nice as they did before? Yeah, it's a dilemma. So anyway, so I'm going to take my Zoeva shader brush and the honey colour which is beautiful. And I'm just going to sweep that all over the lid. Yeah, it's okay actually with this primer. I was a bit worried there because I put it on and it was a little bit more like green than I had anticipated. I don't know why I did that. The one I used originally was the original primer potion, so I don't know why I suddenly decided to use green today. Don't you love this colour? Especially if you have if you have blue eyes. It's like the difference is astounding. This this blue eye is like boom coming out of the socket. So and this is just it's very very easy, so you don't need to be precise with this at all. Uh, so I'm just gonna you know, just pack this on, being quite generous with it, up to where I put that um, frisk colour. To the Naked 2 Basics, and I, this is where it's I'm like, this is what did it, I think, that made it kind of a little bit prettier. Um, I actually took, because I just took Frisk, didn't I, in the grey colour here. So then I'm going to take Cover, which is the colour next to it, which is kind of like a warm brown. Well, it is a warm brown. It's not kind of like a warm brown, it is a warm brown. I'm going to take that on my Zoeva 228 crease brush. I'm going to take a little bit of cover. And I'm going to just plop that very, very, very professionally, uh, just kind of underneath where I put the grey in my crease, just like so. And I'm going to be quite heavy handed with this, kind of building it up, because I really want there to be like a gradient between the grey shade and this kind of warm brown. And it really worked very, very nicely. I was very pleased with it. I don't know whether it's going to come out as nicely as I did the other day, because that's always the way, right? But hey, we, 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 you'll get the general gist of it anyway. And I'm going to kind of take what's left on the brush and kind of fluff it up. Like so. Just like so. It's really pretty. I really like this. Now I'm going to take uh, the Steel and the Garden palette again, and I'm going to use... What am I going to use? What should I use? 
I'm going to use uh, chinos, which is this, just a matte white shade. Why that's in a, a palette for in the garden, I don't know. I don't know why they've called it chinos, but anyway, on a Sally Hansen uh, all over shadow brush, I just use that just to kind of brighten underneath my arch. See the difference? Just about, I think you do, just about. Really pretty. And you can also use these kind of matte highlighting shades, or like, yeah, matte light highlighting shades to kind of clean up around the eye. Just like so. And that's pretty much all I did. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use the same brush, it's just easy, the uh, Zoeva Shader Brush and the Honey Colour. I'm going to swipe that underneath my lower lash line, because that's what I did. Just lightly. Not gonna to be too precise with it, it doesn't really matter. Then for liner, I used the Urban Decay Perversion Super Saturated Ultra Intense Waterproof Cream Liner, which looks like this, which I do love. I think it's really, really nice. I don't really tend to use the brush with this, it looks like this. Um, just because the brush is kind of more catered towards a thicker line. So I used this one. I didn't wash it afterwards, whoops. Uh, I used this one from Kiko, which is Tilly Lily. So I'm going to use that for my liner. I believe that's what I used. Yeah, I did. I did use this one. Yeah. And I'm just going to do a wing, because yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so that is my wing liner on. Yeah, I should have washed that brush before I used it again. It was skipping and dragging, which is annoying. Anyway, so in the waterline, I'm going to take the Joan Collins Timeless Beauty uh, Color Pencil for Eyes in black. I love this pencil. This is not the one I used either. What did I use? I used the Glow and Ray Eternity Eyeliner in London, but I use that all the time, so I thought just for um, just for change's sake, I'll use this one. It's just as nice. So. Pop this in the waterline. Plus, the size of this pencil is absurd. This is the size of two. This, this one here. It's the size of two Urban Decay full size pencils smooshed together. Okay, so the mascara I'm going to use, and the mascara I did use uh, the other day, is the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform, which I just love. I absolutely love this. Amazing mascara. Well worth the money. And then I am going to take, uh, for my powder, I'm going to take the Glow Minerals Luxe. Uh, Translucent setting powder, and it looks like this. This is the same kind of deal as the Glow Minerals um, Luxe Liquid Diamond Foundation, which is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. Quite expensive, but I really like it. It does come with a little puff, but that's elsewhere. And what I do, just because I do like to use quite a bit of powder, is it comes like this in a little sifter, and I just pop some in the kind of mirror bit. So that way I can swirl the brush in. Um, rather than using the puff. I don't really like these powder puffs, but it's a beautiful um, setting powder, absolutely stunning. I've been looking for a translucent one for ages that I could kind of recommend. The Glow Minerals Luxe powder is lovely. In fact, everything from the Glow Minerals Luxe range that I've tried is really nice. So I'm going to apply that with the Nanoshine powder brush, which is a godsend. I love this powder brush. It is so fluffy and so soft. And I'm just going to tap that on. Now for um, bronzing. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to take the Autograph Pure Colour Multi Bronze Bronzer in bronze, 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 uh, which is one of the ones that I, sh well, it was the one that I showed in my Christmas gift guide, if you remember. It's really nice. I really like it. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a brush, brush. It's kind of like a blush and a bronze in one. Now, I'm not going to contour with this, but I'm going to warm my face with it. I'm going to take the Kiko powder brush, which I love. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And kind of just quite haphazard with it really. And then for my blush I'm going to take Milani's Luminoso because that's what Vanessa used in the video I just watched and I'm like oh I have that, beautiful. And it is beautiful, it looks like this. It's coming up a little bit more orangey than it is, it's just stunning. And I'm going to take that on a Zoeva 125 stipping brush, which I, I love these, they're lovely. So we're going for very bronzy tones today, apparently. But I do like this. You don't really need a highlight with this if you don't want to. But I'm going to put a highlight on. Oh, and having said that, I don't have one with me, so that's a bit stupid, isn't it? 
Now for my highlight, I'm going to take the um, decay Naked Illuminated. I very rarely use this, and I think because it's not in my highlighting drawer, I put it next to like my powders and my foundations, and I completely forget about it, so I kind of bypass it, and I don't really know why, it's just very pretty. And it looks like this. Beautiful. And I'm going to take that on a Moxie Paddle Foundation Brush, um, just because. And oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, I don't know why I don't use it that much. I really, really should, because it's so, so pretty. That. And I do like a lot of highlight, as you probably know. So I'm actually going to use the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in Stockholm Chic, which is absolutely one of my favourites. I think this is beautiful. Um, because why not? So pretty. So that is the look that, sort, sort of, the, it's the eyes I wore the other day anyway. Um, everything else was different, but then I didn't take a picture of it, so you wouldn't know that, would you? So um, yeah, this is the look I wore the other day, and I really liked it. I thought it was very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it's something that you would kind of feel comfortable wearing. As I said, you don't have to do the liner or the black in the waterline if you don't want to. Very, very pretty. I like it. And I love that honey shade from Stila. It's beautiful. So yeah. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments and I will leave a list of everything I used as well in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.